Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Curtis here, also known as the Unbox Fox. It's October 1st, which means it's the start of spooky season. So I thought I would go over all the films that I like to watch <coughs> over October leading up to Halloween. So I'm going to start off with my top five that I will watch religiously every Halloween. <coughs> then I will go over some honourable mentions that I will watch year to year, which is like maybe a series of horror films or the odd horror film. So without any further ado, I'll get straight into it and we'll go straight into my top five. So coming in at number five, <coughs> we have Stitches, which stars Ross Noble as Stitches the Clown. Um, this is a really good um, horror comedy um, that I haven't seen many people talk about. Um, I don't know if many people really know about this film, but I would highly recommend it. It's about a clown that goes to a birthday party um, of like young kids, about eight years old. And they play a prank on him and he ends up getting killed. Then when they're teenagers, they have another party when they're older and Stitches comes back from the grave to take his revenge. And it's just full of silly, stupid um, kills and gore. And <clears throat> it mixes uh, the shock value and the comedy value perfectly. Uh, with each kill, you will be shocked and be laughing at the same time. <clears throat> it's a really good movie. I would highly recommend going to check it out. Coming in at number four, we have one of my absolute favourite Halloween films and that is Trick or Treat. This is um, another one that sort of went under the radar a bit I think when it came out. Um, I think it was a straight to physical media. Um, I think it maybe did come out of the cinema but only select screens in America and I think it was only for a few days so I've heard. Um, so yet again maybe not a lot of people have heard of this um, but if you have heard of this and you have seen it you know why this is in my top five. Uh, this just sums up Halloween perfectly. Um, it's four stories that intertwine and connect that all sort of meet up at the end, all sort of circling this little guy, Sam, here. It It's brilliant. Um, it's got all of, sort of all horror genres sort of mixed together. You've got your creature feature, your supernatural, um, your slasher, everything, and it's just absolutely brilliant. If you haven't seen it, Please check out this Halloween. You'll you'll love it if you love a good horror. Yes. <clears throat> so that's my number four pick, Trick or Treat. Coming in at number three is one of the best Halloween films ever made. Um, love this film. I love the whole series. As you can tell by my t-shirt, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Michael Myers. And this is an absolute classic. Um, I don't think I need to really talk about it if you're a Halloween fan. And you're a horror movie fan. You've seen this. And you know why it's in my top five. Absolutely fantastic film. Coming in at number two. Is my personal favourite. Um, in the Halloween series. And that is. Halloween H20. Or as I've always called it. Halloween H2O. I don't know why. It's nothing to do with water. But that's what I've always called it. Um, and the pure reason why this is my favorite halloween movie is because it's the very first one i ever watched um it was on late one halloween and i think it was the premiere of it on tv and i stayed up and watched it and it scared the crap out of me um but i loved every single bit of it and all the kills in it and the story and it made me want to watch all the others so this is the film that got me into watching all the michael myers halloween films so I watch this every Halloween. I love it. And then if you have watched my previous video, you will know that this is in my list and it's number one. And that is Sleepy Hollow. This is my number one film to watch every Halloween. Um, now you're probably wondering, why didn't you pick Halloween H2O? This was one of the very, very first horror films I ever watched. And it was on Halloween. So this is... 
nostalgia purposes for me every Halloween. I love whacking this on and watching it. I watched it in 4K recently. If you want to go check out my review, it was my previous video. There will be a link at the end of this video. Um, I absolutely love this movie. Uh, I won't talk about it too much. If you want to know what my views are fully, go and watch my previous video. So that was my top five that I will watch religiously every year. Um, they're the top ones that I watch because they give off the Halloween vibe and I just I just love them. Um, so next up are my honourable mentions that I will watch. Depending on how I feel each October, I will pick a few out or I will watch a whole series through. So to start off with is the um, 90s um, Adams Family films. Uh, I just like the little quirky sort of spooky comedy of these. I think they're really good. Um, and probably some of the best adaptations of the Adams Family, I think. Um, I did recently watch uh, Wednesday, which I thought was really good. You know, the one on Netflix with General Ortega done by Tim Burton, which I thought was really good. But to me, those ones depict Adams Family perfectly. Um but yeah, so that was the Adams Family films. Next up is a Disney film um, that I love watching at Halloween um, every now and again. Um, I love the ride, so you can probably guess what this is. Um, it's the Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. Really cool, funny, spooky film. Um, like I said, I love the ride, so this is brilliant. But I do recommend watching the new one. Um, I kind of prefer the new one. Um, I hope they bring out it in physical because I will definitely pick it up if it does come out in physical. But it all depends on whether Disney are going to do that or not. I know they've recently started releasing their physical media like Loki Season 1 Mandalorian. So, you know, I'm hoping that will come out in physical media. This is more of a, uh, a family comedy. The newer one is a bit more spooky, scary, jump scary, sort of more true to the source material of the ride which i love so yes that was haunted mansion next up is another absolute fantastic slasher series that i will whack on from time to time over the halloween period and that is the the scream films um these are up there for me with michael myers i think this is brilliant um, why I think Michael Myers is is the best is because he he doesn't talk, whereas you know in Scream he calls you up and all that. But that's what I love about Halloween with Michael Myers is that he doesn't talk, which just makes it even more creepy. But this is sort of the next one down, which I absolutely love. I love the the twists and the mystery of who done it in these films. And they're absolutely brilliant. So I will whack these on from time to time over the Halloween period. I, um, I just want to quickly say that <clears throat> um, I don't usually watch horror films all the way through the year. If there's a film that's come out at the cinema or I've come across it when it comes out, I will watch it. But I mainly watch my horror films through October. I like to keep the spooky season all spooky and just watch all my horror films then mainly. Um, so yeah, uh, next up, um, this is the, um, collection that I'm thinking about watching this Halloween and it's the Chucky seven movie collection. I think I've only ever watched the first two or three. Um, actually, no, I've watched the first two, um, Bride and Seed of Chucky, but I haven't ever watched Charles Play Free or curse or what's the last one cult of chucky um so i think i'll plan on watching these through this halloween um but i do like watching the originals and one of my favorites is seed of chucky i know that's probably one of the worst ones but it's one of the ones that just makes me laugh because it's ridiculous um but yeah these are the ones i'll probably watch this year um but yeah i love the chucky movies <clears throat> Um, next up is one of my absolute favourite um, gory horror films, um, <clears throat> and that's the Saw Collection. I will occasionally whack these on through the Halloween period. Um, I think I watched these ones last year, all the way through, so these probably won't be in my list this year. But 
it's the Saw film, so I love the Saw films. Um, next up is um, Stephen King's It. I have the Tim Curry one, which I, I love to watch. Um, th this one's just an absolute classic. But I also have the, the two remakes, which I absolutely love. And I almost think <laughs> that they're better uh, than the Tim Curry ones. I just think that they're they're perfect in a way that the first one is when they're they're kids and the second one is when they're adults and you've got more storyline and more stuff to watch compared to the original sort of mini series that they put together into a film um then we have um the other part of the golden trio which is uh freddy not on elm street um i haven't got any of the friday 13ths in this list um out of the 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 golden trio that is um, Freddy, Michael, and Jason. Jason is my least favourite, and I don't really have any of the Friday the 13th films. Um, I like Freddy vs. Jason. I think that's a brilliant film. Um, but to me, Friday the 13th um, just, I don't know, just doesn't really do it for me. I do like them, and I will watch them, but Nightmare on Elm Street and the Halloween series just, I think, kicks Jason back into the water. Um, <laughs> So, <clears throat> yeah, the Nightmare on Elm Street films I will occasionally watch. Then we have um, Halloween 2. Uh, after I've watched the very first one, occasionally I will whack the second one on. Um, I do really like this one. Um, after that, they do get a bit cheesy and stuff, but I love the whole series. Um, but, yeah, and then last up, um, I have the latest um remakes and uh yeah halloween halloween kills and halloween ends um yeah again absolutely love michael myers um but i was really disappointed with halloween ends it just didn't live up to the expectations you know you had the first one which i thought was really good and then halloween kills in my opinion was absolutely fantastic I loved all of the, the gore in it, and it, it just sort of summed up Michael perfectly. So I was hoping that ends would be even better, and you'd have that perfect showdown at the end between him and Laurie, and it kind of fell like a lead balloon. It The end was just sort of disappointing for me, because in my eyes, Michael Myers, I know it's separate to the originals, and you know you have that this these three come straight off of the first one and you don't count any of the other ones but to me michael myers is this unstoppable like machine and in the halloween ends um spoiler alert if you haven't seen them but at the end of halloween kills you know he's been beaten to a pulp basically by the people although he gets away um but michael always seems to come back you know and in halloween ends it was like someone else is taking over and he's weak and it was like really disappointing but i i, I mean i still watch it and i still have love for it it's just not what i was expecting and yeah, it wasn't that great. But, yes, um, that might be another series that I might watch through this Halloween and just watch those through, watch the first one, and then watch these three. Because um, I do love Halloween Kills, and I do love Halloween. And I, I, I do um, still like this. It's not that I will never watch this ever again, because it's so terrible. I mean, it is, it is still good. It just didn't live up to my expectations. Um, which, yeah... So I'm going to stop <laughs> ranting on um, about the Halloween films. But that was my top five and my honourable mentions of films that I like to watch over October and the Halloween period. Um, if you liked what you saw through this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more from my channel, hit the subscribe button and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Freaking bats. I love Halloween.